how is three great? I'm, I'm confused. Give the book a higher rating. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my corner of the internet where we talk all things thrillers, mysteries, and suspense. So today, I need your help. I have five books here that I want you guys to help me with. I'm going to read the first line of each book and I'm also going to look up their ratings on Goodreads and see which one I should read next. I am currently reading Look Closer by David Ellis and this book is long. Like this book is 400 pages but it is very interesting so far so I know I'm going to finish it within the next few days. So I want to have a next book. While I'm in the mood to read, I want to have my next book on deck and I want you guys to help me choose that. So I had this idea that I wanted you guys to help me choose my next book based off the first line of the book. Then I watched Nakia's Hideaway, Nakia's, I can't remember her actual YouTube name, but I will link her down below. And I watched, she had a video where she's doing kind of the similar thing where she reads the first line, then she reads the first chapter, but I'm not doing that because that's going to take me a while to do that. So shout out to her. You guys go check out her channel. She reads thriller books as well, but I wanted to try that today. So let's get into it and see what book I'm going to choose next. Okay, so the five books that I have, the first one is Everyone is Watching by Heather Gudenkoff. She is the author of The Overnight Guest, and I didn't really like that one. That one, I think, was a 3.5 to me, but everyone's been talking about this book, so I picked it up at Barnes & Noble. So yeah, and it's a short, easy read. Not even, is it 300 pages? y'all 307 pages so this can be a quick little read in like two days for me the next book is the things we do in the dark by jennifer hillier i loved little secrets so i'm excited to read something from her next one is not so perfect strangers by ls stratton so um i can't remember who i was watching or if it was a re review i saw on goodreads a while ago someone was like this is a a lifetime movie so i'm here for the lifetime movies i don't care if they're cheesy or not but I'm here for it. So this is the third book. The fourth book is Blood Orange by Harriet Tice. I have had this book saved for the longest time. I've seen it all over the place like two or three years ago and I finally got this one on Book Outlet like a couple of months ago. So I'm excited to see what this one is about. And then the last one is The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. Y'all know The Good Sister was one of my favorite books of 2023. So I'm excited to get into this one. Let's read the first line of each one and we're going to check Goodreads and see what they're saying. Okay, so since I ended with The Soulmate, this is the one that I'm going to be starting off with. So I'm going to read the first line, then we're going to see what the average rating is. Well, I guess I could tell you what this is about. So the synopsis says, picture a lovely cottage on a cliff with sloping lawns, walking paths, and beautiful flowers. It's Gabe and Pippa Wright's dream home in a sleepy coastal town, but their perfect house hides something sinister. The tall cliffs have become a popular spot to end their lives. Over the past several months, Gabe comes to their rescue, literally talking them off the ledge. Until one day, he doesn't. When Pippa discovers Gabe knew the victim, the questions spiral. Did the victim jump? Was she pushed? And would Gabe, the love of Pippa's life, her soulmate, lie? Okay, so let's see what the first line says. God, sometimes I really hate reading hardcover books because I just, I hate how they feel in my hand. Ugh, a paperback book is my favorite, but I have a book of the month subscription, so all of the books are hardcover, but I'm not complaining, but it's just, it's a little much. All right, so we are starting off with page one. And we are starting off with Pippa's point of view. So, someone is out there. Well, that was it. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought this was going to be a little more... I don't know. Maybe I'll read the first two sentences. Someone is out there. I'm standing at the kitchen sink. My hands plunged in warm, soapy water. Okay, then I'm... At this point, I'm just reading. So, okay. We're starting off with the soulmate. And the first line is, someone is out there. So... Let's see what they have to say on Goodreads. So the Soulmate on Goodreads has 129,000 ratings so far, and it's an average of 3.8 stars. That's not bad. That's really not bad because some people think three stars, they rate things three stars and they're like, oh, this is a great book. And I'm like, how is three great? I'm, I'm confused. Give the book a higher rating, okay? Give the book a four star. So 3.8 is pretty good. All right. All right, not too bad, not too bad. On to the next. Okay, so the next book we have is Blood Orange. Let's see what the synopsis says. 
Or maybe I won't read the synopsis on every single one. But it says bold, provocative, and utterly gripping. Okay. Uh, we love a little law thriller. Okay. So let's see what the first line says. This cover is beautiful to me. I don't I don't know. It's just so basic, but it's beautiful. Okay, do I if if it has a prologue, do I read the prologue or do I read the first sentence of the first chapter? QTNA. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read the prologue because you always have to read the prologue. First, you light a cigarette, the smoke curling in on itself and up towards the ceiling. Alright, um that wasn't giving much, so <laughs> Let's go to Goodreads and see what they're saying about Blood Orange. So Blood Orange has 79,000 ratings and the average review is 3.86 stars. So not too bad, not too bad. It's a debut thriller. Okay. All right. Not too bad. The first line is not impressive, but I don't know. Something about it. Something about it makes me want to read it. Okay. Next is Things We Do in the Dark. This cover is beautiful as well if you can't tell i'm a person that judges a book by its cover and this one is oh, something about it is just so beautiful so let's see when paris is arrested in her own bathroom covered in blood holding a straight razor her celebrity husband dead in the bathtub behind her she knows she'll be charged with murder but as bad as this looks it's not what worries her the most it's only a matter of time before someone from her long hidden past recognizes her and destroys the new life she's worked so hard to build that's all i'm gonna give right there chapter one there's a time and place for erect nipples, but the back of Seattle... <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. There's a time and a place for erect nipples, but the back of a Seattle police car definitely isn't it. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued already. This, That's a wild first statement. That's a wild first sentence. Okay. Okay. All right. Things we do in the dark. Let's see. Let's see what they have to say on Goodreads. Okay, so this has 98,000 ratings and the average review is 3.96. So, hmm, this seems like a highly rated book. Oh, Sydney Books, she rated this one 4.5 stars. If you don't follow her on Instagram or TikTok, you definitely should. Hmm, okay. That first sentence definitely intrigued me. Okay, so the next book is Not So Perfect Strangers. So, let's see what this has to say. Tasha Jenkins has finally found the courage to leave her abusive husband. Taking her teenage son with her, Tasha checks into a hotel the night before their flight out of D.C. and out of Cordell Jenkins' life forever. But escaping isn't so easy, and Tasha soon finds herself driving back to her own personal hell. Okay. Hmm. As she is leaving, a white woman pounds on her car window, begging to be let in. Behind the woman, an angry man is in pursuit. Tasha makes a split-second decision that will alter the course of her life. She lets her in and takes off. Hmm. All right. I'm not reading anymore, but... All right. Oh, I love the feel. I love the feel of this book. Oh, it's one of those covers that's like not going to be damaged easily. I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Okay. Chapter one. Guilty people run away from the scene of a crime. And that is what Tasha Jenkins was doing at the Gingell's house. Wait, <laughs> hold on. I can't read right now. And that is what Tasha Jenkins was doing at the Gingell's house burned. Okay. Okay. Is that her ex-husband? Was it on here? Cordell? No, that was Cordell Jenkins. All right. Uh, oh! The white lady, Madison. That's Madison Gingell. Gingell. Okay, I, sh I guess I should have kept reading. All right. Okay. Somebody's house is going to be on fire. Madison's house is going to be on fire. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's see what good reasons to say. Okay, so it has 6,000 ratings. And the average star is 3.63. So not terrible, but not great. Let's see what the first review is. Someone said, thought this was going to be like Gone Girl. It wasn't. Okay. Is that a good or a bad thing? Hmm. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Not so popular. So maybe I can set a trend if the book is good. Okay, Heather. Heather's hair looks real good. Can y'all see the next book is Everyone is Watching. So let's see what it says. The best friend, the confidant, the senator, the boyfriend, the executive. I always feel like when I read the synopsis of, <laughs> when I read the synopsis on the back of the page, I'm, I always feel like I can't read. I, does anyone else feel like that? It's like the pacing. I can't get the pacing. So 
Five contestants have been chosen to compete for $10 million on the game show, One Lucky Winner. The catch? None of them knows what or who to expect, and it will be live streamed all over the world, completely secluded in an estate in Northern California, with strict instructions not to leave the property and zero contact with the outside world. The competitors start to feel a little too isolated. When long-kept secrets begin to rise to the surface, the contestants realize this is no longer just a reality show. Someone is out for blood, and the game can't end until the world knows who the contestants really are. All right, juicy. Okay, this is a different type of premise, because I feel like, ugh, if I read one more book about a podcast, I am going to scream. Let's see what the first sentence is like. I can already tell this first sentence isn't giving, but... Marie Hennessy squinted against the bright October sun as she drove down the quiet Iowa County Road. Well, that's not very, you know, it's not very thrilling. They don't always get you from the first sentence, right? They don't always. So let's see what it's saying on Goodreads. All right, so far, this one has 10,000 ratings and the average star is 3.67 so mm, not too bad not too good oh, okay i think one of my subscribers is that a sub yes i think so one of my subscribers rated it three stars mm, we shall see right now this is at the bottom of my list and honestly it was at the bottom of my list to begin with because i didn't really like the overnight guests so this is at the bottom of the list. If all of y'all end up telling me to read this, I'm gonna be very, <laughs> I'm gonna be very sad. But no, 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 no. Speak your mind. We live in America, free country. If the, if you want me to read this, let me know down below. All right, all right. So out of these five books, which one should I read next? Okay, I'm thinking between Blood Orange and Things We Do in the Dark. That first sentence and Things We Do in the Dark was literally just it was hilarious. So. <laughs> I, I love it. This is bottom of the barrel for me right now. This one's not so bad. Not so perfect strangers. It's not, it's not bad. None of these are bad choices. It's just, I think I'm leaning more so towards things we do in the dark. I think I'm leaning more so toward, y'all, I'm just all over the place right now. These three, it's like, which one out of these three should I read? But really, it's out of these five because I asked you guys out of which five. But for me personally, I think it would be out of these three. And then I think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That's why I'm asking you for your help. Based off of the Goodreads ratings in the first sentence, I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know. So let me know down below. Did you guys enjoy this video? I know I might have been all over the place and it might be a little short. I don't know. Are we liking short or long videos? I'm not sure. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will tell you guys on the community tab after this video is up for about like five days because I think I'll be done with look closer within the next four to five days. I'm not a speed reader like you guys unless I'm like I'm eating up the book but this book is 400 pages and the, the font is so small. I'm like oh it's taking me forever but I do like the book. So in about four or five days after I post this video I will put it on the community tab which one you guys said because this works really well when we did it for the look closer or lock every door all y'all were just commenting so much so and again while we're on the topic of commenting thank you guys so much for supporting me following me on goodreads like uh, i love you guys i feel like we're a little family and i cannot wait to see where this channel goes i think we should be at a thousand subscribers by mid-june let me know should i do what should i do a thousand is a big goal I, you won't be monetize necessarily once you hit a thousand like the rules are like crazy now you have to have like a whole bunch of watch hours i don't know but anyways i'm starting to ramble so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and let me know what you're reading down below all right see you guys